I'll be fishing you guys. Are... I tried to think that it didn't work. What's up, guys? You know the rules. You know what we do. And how this works. Friday, you made it. Congratulations. Uh, now, if you could be so kind as to tell me exactly where we are, I would be forever grateful. However, I don't know if this is going to help. Give me a sec. I got to take down Symphony number no. 5 in C minor. Op 67 1. I don't, I don't know what any of that means. All I know is that <clears throat> I have to clear my throat. Is this Argentina or is this España? Give me Vende Manuel Serrano. This does not help me. Although this makes me feel like it's Spain because the license plates are rectangles. Last time. We did fairly well. 22,000? Can't complain, can't complain. I got lucky with some guesses. Uh, I'll be 100% honest. Although, no, Serrano is not an Italian name. Are these kumquats? I'm going to say they're kumquats. Just because the word kumquat is funny. Anyway, we're moving along. We're trying to find signs. Uh, Esperanza. Tiny little town, I'm going to say. Although, this seems rainy. I don't know what this halo around the car is. It's like a disinfectant shield. We don't want any of the countryside to get onto you. What eats here? The cows? Don't know. But, I'm going to... Make sure this time, whatever I talk about, I'm not going to go, did I already talk about that? Because no, we're, we're not having that. I'm going to say we're up here just because this feels like North, North Spain. Like that means anything. Like you try to explain something in your head and then it makes sense in your head. But when you actually sit there and try to uh, explain it to somebody, you're like, you know, nah. and then no one understands you. Why does this look like? this coast if I try to like match it up with a bulge although this could be the other side of the 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 Iberian Peninsula there's your word for the day folks Iberian Peninsula that is what this is but then if you like zoom things far up far out enough everything's a peninsula everything's an island stop calling them continents they're islands but, um, maybe we're on the Atlantic coast. Maybe we're not. And just in that process of me actually saying, stopping and looking at that map, I now forgot what I was going to talk about. I'm sorry, folks. I should be better than this. <laughs> I should also not be sniffling as much as I am. I don't think I'm sick. Natural Park of Sierra de Mamadere. I know that's not Mamadere, but... So is this... Donada? No. I don't see it anywhere. And I'm trying to take this time to actually sit and think of whatever I was going to talk about that just popped in my head and said this is a good idea. Not happening now. And if it ends up being down here, so be it. I'm still sticking up in this section. I'm actually going to click even farther north. That's how confident I am. God damn it. This was Portugal. And apparently that was the border. Did not get the country right. That's on me. We're going to see this up here and we're going to say this is Russia. What a surprise. I don't see any letters in here that are not Russian. That worries me. I don't know why it should. Yeah, I think that's the same letter. Now, now I've just gotten to the point where my brain is so mush today. Just because... No, it, it's, it's, it's Russian. Okay, just because starting a new job and the annotation with whatever I'm doing. These are... Um... Queen Elizabeth Lace, or Queen Anne's Lace, I think. 
Or there might be a difference between the two because right in the center of the flowers, there is a red dot. And I guess that's supposed to represent her death? Or the old wives' tale of it, whatever. I don't know. I could be 100% wrong. This is a relative of the poison parsnip plant, which is yellow and has the same flower structure. And let me tell you, I was a very dumb kid. This is story time. This this may take a while. I'm very I'm I'm not smart still, but just imagine my dumbness just in a smaller body. I had a summer job because my dad was one of those. You're gonna get a summer job. You're gonna work. So of course I'm not gonna fight dad. I'm gonna work in the summer. And where I worked, I I'm gonna there's gonna be a lot of check boxes you're gonna get just from this little bit as I take a sip. The majority of my childhood, I grew up in a trailer park. So take that for what you will. It's fine. I lived in a modular home. Oh, God. This is Dutch, Baden, and Wellness. Do they go this far inward, or are we actually here again in uh, East Prussia? I'm going to take a guess and say East Prussia. If I can see some more signs that perhaps... I don't know why I went in such a incline of a talk there, but perhaps could be help me designate because I think the last East Prussia guess kind of was like this, but I could be 100% off and just screwed myself. But anyway, I uh, grew up in a trailer park and I had a menial, very labor intensive job as a kid where I would work in the trailer park for the landlords. We were pretty good friends with the family. We would, uh, Go hunting with them in the... See, now I don't know if this is actually going to be East Prussia because last time in East Prussia we saw a bunch of uh, wording that wasn't just straight up Russian. So I think I'm going to split the diff. No, not changing. I'm not changing. We're going to eat this. This is going to be a terrible score, but God damn it, I am sticking to my... Sticking to my guns here. Anyway, my one of the medial job menial jobs I had was uh, okay. This is one hundred percent in this part of the country. I backed down so hard, folks, and uh, I I did weed whacking is the thing I did, and uh, I don't know if anybody's ever told you this. Never weed whack or do any yard work with uh, shorts on. I mean, yeah, you're going to think it's summer, it's hot as fuck, you want to... Get me up to the highway. You want to... Uh, thank you. You want to stay cool and not be sweating your ass off in pants, but let me tell you. Why is it... Why are we... Why? Okay, just give me... Oh, we're all the way up there. Whatever. I think I was actually closer if I stuck here. But anyway... So, one of the the, the best example as to why is... Um, I guess the best way to learn is by doing. That's what I've always been told. And the best way to learn to, uh... What the hell is this? Curb my enthusiasm. I, I, I hate how much I end up interrupting myself when I tell these stories, but then I just see things. Melbourne. Okay, well, that, that, uh... We're gonna keep that there and do some clicking, but it gives me time to actually tell the rest of this I'll be a too meaningless conversation here. Let's get bigger. That uh, I proceeded to do some really thick, tall grass weed whacking. In shorts. Middle of summer, hot as fuck. I was sweaty. I didn't want to wear pants. So, it's the M240. See the M240 anywhere. So, as I... Uh, proceeded to do the weed whacking. I thought, oh, I got a bug bite. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, the bug bite's still itchy. Goddamn mosquitoes. What, what can I say? They really they really bug me. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And you can kind of see where this is going, where I thought I had bug bites, and, uh... Turns out... It got all over my leg. One leg. My left leg, I believe. And it swelled up pretty big. It was kind of gross. I had to cover the thing in basically cortisone for ever. And uh, it turned out I had like 
poison ivy, poison oak, and poison parsnip all at the same time on my leg. And I had to fall asleep with like a towel wrapped on my, uh, wrapped around my leg and like somehow subconsciously not um, scratch in my sleep. Well, this shows Melbourne, but what direction am I going? I got to put it in wonder. I'm going to put it like right here, even though none of these are M240. And I had to spend, I think it was over a month maybe with that. And I, I, in the middle of that, I went with my friend to an amusement park. And what really sucked was trying to, I could not really bend the leg and I had to sit down in a roller coaster. And now that I think about it, I shouldn't have gone in the first place because whoever sat down after me may have gotten all of that on their legs too. I was a terrible person and didn't even think about it. Grantville, Grand, Cranborn. Give me the honeysuckles. Sound like a TV family. That's the 460. But that was the, the, the worst. I think almost someone... Oh, M240. Here we go. Grantville. Very close. And he was like, we could, we could have used your... Uh... Let's save it right there. We could have used your... Uh... Poison thing. It was a photo, and they put it would have put it in your in their book or something. They said, and uh, it was it was pretty nasty. So, in this stupid rambling story I told kids, don't um, don't forget to uh, wear pants. As as shitty as it might seem, there are worse deaths. There's Cooey. I just like looking at names here because they're just. There's Cranbourne. Okay, so that's 64 miles or kilometers. We're on the base highway. Oh, that's what this is called. Okay, so. I think this is a good enough guess as any. Now well, we're a little farther south, but we got pretty close. That was one of the most spot on uh, Australian guesses I think we've had. And now we're on four or five, and this could be. Uh, we're passing this sign up here. Okay. I don't know where we are yet. Rutas del Mescour. I feel this is Brazil. So that's... No, uh, that... If you're, it's trying to tell... Brain says Australia. Is that a skull and crossbones? Are you a pirate? Nondescript... Tanker truck. This is how action movies start. We learn about our villains. I've always had this thought of what came first. Because in every superhero combo, there's always the... Uh, I think this is Brazil. There's always the superhero, and then there's the villain. So you got to think, what came first? I mean, is, is a superhero guy so arrogant that he's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be this superhero guy, run around in tights, and uh, be a good guy, and, uh, you know, do all do all the things, protect people. I don't trust the cops anymore. I, I think I can do a good enough job. See, I can run real fast. Uh, cops, uh, you can't do that, so uh, leave it up to me. And then you think about, was there a guy who's like, who is this asshole who's just, like, took it into his own hands to, like, police so we're in Colorado, Estable La Marias. I mean, I don't want to talk down to you guys, but usually your picturesque billboard you want to have is probably like the most breathtaking thing about the area. And if you're just showing a picture of a dirt road, uh, I don't know. Don't let me talk you down like this, guys. You're probably real amazing here. You, you guys do great work, so I'm not going to say anything bad about you. But this. Did the villain guy just be like, ah, oh, I'm so tired of this guy, he's a dick. Someone's gotta stand up to him, and then, like, is he really the bad guy? Well, obviously he's the bad guy, he does the bad guy things, but... I don't know if I'd really be okay with having a superhero just be like, oh yeah, great, Superman. He's so boring. Just because nothing bad ever happens to Superman. It's like, oh, this guy came, well, he can just run fast. 
This is a tiny truck. Carne, carne photo. Steak photo? Steak pictures? Okay. Like, I don't follow much in the way of comic stuff. Like, I'll watch the movies. Like, I kind of, I've tapped out of the movies, though, because you can only take so much. I'm like, hey, it's Avengers 6004. I mean, great. You love the shit. Everyone seems to like it. It, it, it follows a formula, and the formula works. Everyone watches it. They're having a great time. You guys are awesome. You keep supporting your, like, all the people who are like, yeah, I've loved comics for a while. Now we're finally getting our moment in the sun. As much as you guys didn't with the first, uh, what is, okay. I thought, like, your tire, you're, like, floating around just on the gear thing. And like, even though you didn't get your fill with the first Spider-Man movie that came out and made shit tons of money that made everyone be like, wait a minute, maybe there's something here to these movies. If this turns out to be, like, Mexico, I'm gonna be really upset because I'm an idiot. I still... I just need, like, a word that I can understand to different... That's a... Parrot. Fuck. Nope. Parrot does not make me think that this is Mexico all of a sudden. I'm going to put us, like, here. And see how bad I am. Uh, Argentina. You tell me how I could have known that. I saw nothing there. That's a terrible score. I'm. Since you're not Brazil, I'll give you a star. Last one. We are not getting over that because that round was... Uh, it was, was terrible. Anyway. I've kind of gotten... I'm, I'm done with the superhero stuff. I mean, I'll check out the more unusual stuff that isn't what the general... Well, calling it like a mill now, just the, the Disney mill where they're eventually going to buy everything. But they're just putting out every... It says R-A-I-O-N. This is... Ski Rayon. Give me farther back. G-A-G... Gagarnishki? Gagarnishki Parion? Got me! We're going to put us there, because who gives a shit? Like, the, this, this will horribly date myself for when this, this video was recorded, but the, uh, Deadpool trailer just came out, or the second one, whatever the fuck it was, I did watch it, and I, I will go see that just because I'm like, it's interesting, it's, um, an interesting anti-hero, whatever you want to call it, it seems funny, it's, self-aware it's pretty much what deadpool is it captures what deadpool is and i'm like all right great you guys you guys are nailing it uh ryan reynolds seems like the perfect guy to play deadpool even both versions of it the red laser eye dude and everything that i hear about the when it first came out the i, mean, I don't want to be like horribly dismissive of this but when it came out everyone's like yeah it did real good you know they talk about um Ryan Reynolds, the, the the company wanted to give him a bunch more money than what he what he what he originally wanted. He said no, so he could keep more control. And maybe that's for the people who probably aren't sold, but I don't know how not taking more money would sell anybody. Oh shit. Shit shit shit. L V that's that can't be Latvia, is it? I'm going to put us as close to Latvia as I can. Although there's an international transport, which maybe we're close to Latvia. And then maybe I should look to see if there's a Gaga, whatever it's called, around here. But hey, go see the Deadpool. It's probably going to be great. I'm going to. I think I'll enjoy it. I enjoyed the first one. It was pretty funny. And uh, maybe they'll stop at two. I mean, I'm. Why is it always gotta be three? Can't you just do it in two, or can you stretch it to four? It just feels silly that oh, this has to be a trilogy. Just let the movie be what it is, and don't try to force it. This, what is the point of what I'm talking about? I are they fighting? I hope they're fighting. 
like uh Karlov right next to Boris is like you gotta keep synchronized truck driving. You gotta keep exactly fifteen feet behind me. Otherwise we're gonna lose points with the judges. Those French judges are the worst. And I these are dumb loose threads where I talked about Deadpool will be a good movie. I'm tired of Marvel movies. Um, superheroes, I don't like them just because I I think that they eventually are the ones who come first and eventually at some point they're the reason that there are villains, the super villains, whatever the hell you want to call them. Why aren't they called super villains? I don't know. But I feel that in order for to have the one, if you have the villains, they had to have been created by the superheroes that last there. People just don't come up and be like, oh, this dick. I want to fight against him. They're usually, like with the Joker, I think the Joker was a result of somehow Batman dumping him into a vat of acid. I forget. I haven't seen, read the killing joke, so I don't know. But anyway, folks. I'm just gonna say, ah, fuck you. Just, just that one. Look at how terrible the score was because of it. I'm disgusted again with these. It's such a huge 7,000 point swing from what I did two days ago to this. And it's just because of this. And I, there was no way I was gonna know the difference. I didn't see anything. Maybe it screamed all Spanish to me and I didn't know it, but god damn it. Anyway, that's another week down, folks. Uh, come back Monday. We're going to do some more GeoGuessr. Um, streams gonna, the, the stream is going to come back up on Monday. The exact times, uh, I think I got them pretty much nailed out. Ironed out, there's something outed. But we're going to go back to the same Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday schedule. It'll just be a little later in the day. Stay tuned to the channel, check the Twitch or the Twitter. All of that will be adjusted, will be announced officially in the next couple of days. And uh, I'll edit the stuff that's on the Twitch channel. It's still showing the old times, but stay tuned. I'm going to come back. I've got the computer working so I can at least stream. Not a very good quality, some Vermintide, but that game's fun. But for all of us here... At Hobby Fist. Uh, score bad, do better. Have a good weekend. We'll be waiting for you come Monday with some more GeoGuessr and some other good stuff. Stay tuned. We'll see you.